Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about the trimmed mean, which is a slightly modified version of the normal mean, which I'm pretty sure you've already learned how to take. So what is a trimmed mean? Well a trimmed mean, like I just said, is a slightly different different way that we take the mean in order to reduce outliers from a data set. We don't we we are trying to take a mean that doesn't include those very large or very small values in a data set that could ultimately sway your average in one direction or the other. And to do that, and to calculate a trim mean, what we're going to do is essentially take off a data point from each end of the data set. I can't stress enough. When you trim the mean, you're taking off points from both ends of the data set. You're removing data points from both ends of the set. But I have to be very important with this next point. In order to take a trim mean, your data needs to be in numerical order, either from least to greatest or greatest to least. So let's review. It's either when you take data off, when you trunk, when you trim the mean or trim the data set in order to take the trim mean, you're going to be removing data points from both ends, and that your data itself must be in numerical order. So let's try an example so you can make sense of everything I just said. Here's the data set, right? And you know how to take the mean of this. You just add up every single number all together, right? You just add up all these numbers and divide by the number of numbers in the data set, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? You can do that, and you would get 23.8. No big deal. But let's say I asked you for a trim mean, and let's say specifically a 10% trimmed mean. All right, well, how do I do that? Well, first I'm going to figure out how many numbers I need to remove from this data set. I need to remove 10% from each side. Well, if there are 10 total numbers, there are 10 total points in our data set, and we want a 10% trimmed mean, we're just going to multiply them together. We're going to multiply our percentage trimmed by the number of points in the data set. And what do we get? We get the number 1. What does this mean? We have to remove one observation from each side. So, we're, again, from each side, we're going to take off the one from the left, and one from the right. Now notice how the data is already in order. Because the data is in order, we're already removing the smallest and the biggest values, or the extremely small and the extremely big values that can skew our data, or skew our average to the left or the right, or make it too very big or very small. So moving on, now that I've eliminated those data points, or I've trimmed the mean by knocking out those certain points, I can take the mean of the remaining data points, and that will give me my trimmed mean. So I add up the remaining data points, and I divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because there are 8 data points left in the set, and that gives me a mean of 22. And notice how when we knocked out that very big value, which was it used to be 50, our mean went down significantly. It went down from 23.8 to 22. Now I know we got rid of a 12, but I mean that's not too far away from 14, so it doesn't really affect the data that much. But trimming the mean will most definitely change what your mean value is. If you so let's review real quick, right? Uh, now I have markings everywhere. You're for a trim mean, we're taking away values from each end of the data set in order to remove outliers that can skew it. We have to trim it by taking away data points from each end of the set and that the data itself needs to be in numerical order from least to greatest to greatest to least. No, we just calculated normal mean just for comparison, but if we want to find a percent trimmed, like it's going to ask you if I want to fi find a 10% trimmed mean, multiply your number of observations or number of data points by your percentage trimmed, and you'll get the number you need to remove from each side of the data set. From there, you can just add up the remaining data points, divide by the number of points remaining, just like you would a normal mean, and you'll get your new trimmed mean. See this one right here? Trimmed. Because we got rid of those other data points. And that's the end of this video. I have the flu, so I am going to bed. Good night.